I've been looking through the number of firearm certificates you've issued in the last couple of years, Fowler. Ah, yes. I think you'll find it comes to a goodly round number. Yes, it does. None. <laughs> right? No more, no less. 92 sponsored applications, none accepted. That is correct. Including the bloke I sponsored. Or more accurately, particularly the bloke you sponsored. <laughs> he is the chief todger of my lodge. <laughs> if I can't swing him a permit, I'm going to look a right dicky doodah, aren't I? I do not approve firearms applications in order to prevent you from looking a dicky doodah, Grim. <laughs> Besides which, I could issue the fellow with a cruise missile permit, and you would still look like a dicky doodah. <laughs> it is not within my power to prevent you from looking like a dicky doodah. <laughs> Only God or a large bag could do that. <laughs> it is your job to vet the applications. You're supposed to ask questions to find out who's a suitable person to own a gun. That's right. And surely the first question must be, does that person wish to own a gun? Well, of course. And if the answer to that is yes, then clearly that person is not a suitable person to have one. <laughs> this is the nanny state gone mad! What? Because I don't happen to think that a man who lives in a suburban semi needs an automatic weapon. <laughs> He's a sportsman! Then tell him to buy a pair of plimsolls. <laughs> sport? Sport? When did you last see a wild boar in gas for... Or an elk. <laughs> and if you did, dispatching it with a spear or an arrow would be sport. But deploying an elk seeking missile is just <laughs> cheating. This is a civil liberties issue. You are denying my todger his rights. <laughs> and what about the rights of those who do not wish to live next to an armed man? Particularly one who attends weekly secret meetings in which he puts on a dress and kisses a dead turkey's bottom. <laughs> we only kiss the turkey's bottom on special occasions. <laughs> Normally, we might do with a chicken nugget. <laughs> I am talking about the rights of the individual here, which I consider secondary to those of the community as a whole. This town is a human nest. If you were an ant, would you consider it a matter of hymenopterous civil liberties that a socially dysfunctional worker ant be allowed to keep a pet anteater? <laughs> if it was securely muzzled and tethered, yes, I would. <laughs> then clearly you are quite mad, Grim. Good day. I do.